Let's start off with doing group norms. And you can tell I do this for a living. I do facilitating all the time. Mm -hmm. So I want to start off with this. And just to start off, I want to say this by no means is like a complete trans workshop. I mean, you can do this for days and days. It's so complex and um, so many uh, things to learn. This is just a beginner thing for some people who may not be up on some of the terms um, or ha has never even thought about how gender plays out in our lives. So, and again, I am not an expert on this, um, and I always, um, you know, I always want people to chime in if they feel that they want to add something to it. I always accept that. So, um, you know, I'm here teaching or facilitating a discussion about things that I know, uh, things that I've, uh, I've lived and I've taught myself. So, um, not an expert here. This one is good because it kind of gets everybody on the same page on terms, because sometimes we throw words around. And a lot of times people are embarrassed to say that they're not quite sure about it, and it's <coughs> quite all right, because um, I think um, this is a really big issue, and um, um, a lot of words, a lot of terms, so let's just get on the same page. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put four of these sheets down on the floor over here, and they're all titled uh, sex. Not the sex you have, but sex right here. We're gonna have gender, gender slash sex role, <coughs> and sexual orientation. All right, now we're gonna have all these wonderful little cards here, and I'm just gonna split up the audience in four groups. I'm giving you a whole deck of little cards. In your group, you can turn around, look at each other, decide which card goes into which category. It doesn't have to be just one person. You can come up and start doing it. I have tape right here. Put a little piece of tape on it and we'll go. Any questions? No? Is everybody alive? Yeah. Okay. So here's group right here, there's two rows. These two rows. Uh, and there. <laughs> with sex. Let's see what people put up here. We have intersex, chromosome, female, penis, vulva, <laughs> and XOXXY, XYY. Do people agree or disagree with the cards that we put up here? Penis is a little iffy. And oh. why? <laughs> well, I guess, I mean, it needs to be I guess it would need to be a little more specific for me to decide because, like, my girlfriend has a penis. She just keeps it in the drawer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that brings up a good point. Um, a lot of these things, every time I do this exercise, it's really fun to watch because people really, um, sometimes in their groups, argue and, like, no, that's wrong, that's completely wrong. And I did, the, I did this um, with Nathan uh, at a training before, and people got really angry and pissed off. Um, and so... Um, some of these things go in different categories. They can change because it does depend, right? But for the purposes of this, like in terms of this, uh, in terms of defining sex, uh, for this workshop, it is um, sex is associated with your uh, biological features, chromosomes, body parts, things like that. So, like when you're born, you come out. If they see a vagina, then you're, you know, girl penis boy. So it's about your wiring, how you're made up. Gender variant or different, gender variant or different. And I think I heard you say it goes up there because some uh, medical term or something, which I would say you're right. And then on the other hand, there are some people who identify as such. They identify as gender variant or gender different, but then there are medical terms that say this in a, in a negative um, way. You could say the same thing about the word queer. Some people use that word queer very proudly and other people feel like queer is such a horrible negative term. So it depends on people, which all boils down to like people have their own agency to decide on how they identify and what words good are you know fit for them, right? All right. So now back to the paper that I jumped to. I want to get into a little bit into transgender now, of course, because this is a trans one-on-one workshop, right? Um. So 
breaking that down gender. Gender is internal or psychological sense of oneself as a man or a woman because those are the categories that we've been given, right? And so a part of gender, there are three aspects to gender that I've been um, doing workshops and teaching people about, so. So there's gender ID, that is how I see myself. There's gender expression, how I express that gender by what I wear, if I bind, if I pack, if I wear a dress, makeup, certain things, right? And they could be a mixture of those things. And then there's gender attribution, which is really a, a key, because gender attribution is how the world sees you. So regardless of how you see yourself and how you express that, the world has a big part of how you express your gender, because for instance, I identify as trans, um, but when I walk out into the streets, sometimes I, um, a lot of people um, see me as, you know, a, a dyke, they, these are the terms they use for me, Dyke, diesel, whatever. I don't think that I'm about myself, but <laughs> but you know they use those terms for me, and um, it, it it has an impact on how you're seen in the world. And so, challenge yourselves then. So if we want to interrupt this process of miseducation, ignorance, um, don't assume. A lot of times people say, you know, but I don't know if I should ask this person. I might be disrespecting them, and I would say, ask. You always ask because if you just kind of make an assumption about something, it could be wrong, it could be hurtful. And it's not just your comment, it's a slew of comments that have been just building from everyday living. So it's, 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 it's really nice to have a conversation and just to ask. And so body parts don't necessarily, I always say, don't necessarily equal gender identity. Um, so some uh, people, myself, I identify as trans, I haven't had surgery or take hormones. Um, and uh, for some of you maybe who have seen the show that I just did, I was completely naked on stage half the time. And so I was showing my body parts, my uh, body parts identified female parts on stage and very nervous about that because feeling like, oh, now people are gonna see me in this different way. Um, so it's very different for lots of people. So, uh, again, interrupt. I've been in spaces where people said, oh, that he, she. And I'm like, wait a minute. It's not he, she, and then that's a, that's a moment where I have to give some education to somebody. It shouldn't be he, she, this person identifies a certain way, and if you don't know, maybe you should ask. And if you're not interested, then maybe you shouldn't be talking about that person. So, you know, interrupting that, just like we've, a lot of us in this room have wanted people to interrupt homophobia, um, and just um, be open about that. Um, interrupt, uh, you know, um, oppression of women. Interrupt a lot of things. It's our job to do that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you.